first job's to get a top jaw rope on. I just utilise a stick. That way when he crunches down on it, it'll break and it won't hurt the crocodile. I've got to try and feed it in between his jaws. The top jaw rope's vital for getting control over this huge animal. Nothing, dude. It's a very intense moment. The chance to try something nobody's ever tried before. But if my hunch about being able to change their behaviour is right, we'll be able to leave them safely where they are, and that's good news for humans and for crocs. Bro, Steve Irwin is a motherfucking legend, bro. Like, Steve Irwin legit... It, like, it's a fucking shame that God really had the fucking gall to get rid of this motherfucker when he wasn't even close to being done being a badass in the world. Like, I don't really watch Animal Planet that much anymore, mostly because of the fact that cable fucking television is cancer and literally just rapes you with fucking commercials every two seconds. But when I watch Animal Planet, anytime I saw Steve Irwin come on, I was paying attention to that shit. I was glued into the fucking TV. This motherfucker was talking about crocodiles like they were fucking chihuahuas that he just loved and adored and they were the best. And I'd be watching the fucking show and like after I watched the fucking show, I'm like, I want to punch a motherfucker in the face that even thinks of attacking a crocodile. Like, how could you fucking shoot a gator that's trying to rip your arm off? Talk to it. Look at what fucking Steve does. He put a, he put a rope around a gator's fucking head just to get a little bit of control over him just so he can have a conversation. Just go, listen, man, you're a nice guy. I'm a nice this guy let's talk about this let's not jump to conclusions uh, by the way let me just say if i had one wish right if i, if I had a couple wishes one of them would be if i could have a p parents who are as loving and as caring as fucking steve Irwin and his wife like you watch like i'm not gonna lie bro like everybody like almost every relationship i've ever seen in terms of my parents friends parents women and men in general has really like i, I really it, it's a shame that i'm not gay because women just fucking it's just like i want to jump out the fucking window the moment they open their mouths i'm like i'm ready to kill myself but you look at this shit dude this this woman i'm not gonna be saying bitch i want to say bitch this woman is out in the motherfucking bayou or wherever the fuck this is in australia she's with her dude catching a fucking crocodile bro like do you understand how fucking badass she is that she's like you know what steve this is your fucking passion this is what you like i'm out in this big dude steve Irwin. no disrespect to steve Irwin. he is dead i appreciate him i love him but his dick game was on a different level you understand this motherfucker like that looks like a crocodile that ain't a crocodile bro that's his dick he's talking about his dick right now bro he 18 footer at least this guy was the motherfucking man bro like he legit would go out catch a fucking crocodile and the whole time he's catching a crocodile he's breaking down what the fuck he's doing give us a hand to get the barricade off fellas Oh my god. I don't get it though. Like, what the fuck is now like. Got him secured, oh, okay. settled, and relaxed. Quite comfortable, I guess. We'll get some buckets of water and we'll cool him down, keep him moist, because we've decided to keep him overnight. And we'll get lots of water in and around his cloacal region, wash all his dead pig around so there's no chance of infection, and try and keep him as happy as a pig in mud. Bro, how you not gonna love Steve Irwin, bro? Like, how, how is it that Steve Irwin treats his fucking crocodile with more love and affection than some people treat their own kids, bro? Like, how the fuck is he out here pouring buckets of fucking water on a fucking crocodile just to make sure that it's comfortable and relaxed while they fucking suture and make sure he's alright? Like, and by the way, I know this is gonna sound like a stupid statement, but how the fuck did Steve Irwin know in the first place this crocodile was hurting? Like, did this motherfucker get an alert, like the bat signal? Like, a crocodile was out in the water and he put the fucking Steve Irwin signal on? He's like, yo, I ain't feeling too hot, Steve. I'm gonna need you to come through and fucking patch me up. And he, and Steve, in a fucking blink of an eye, is like, yeah, I'm there for you, boy. I'm there to fucking help you, dude. Steve Irwin was a fucking legend, dude. Like, this guy... Like, it's, it, it, like, I still think about the fact that this fucking guy died from a, a cocksucking stingray. No disrespect to stingrays. I understand they're animals. Uh, but it's like, what the fuck, man? What, what the fuck? Like, how are you going to get rid of Steve Irwin, but keep all these cocksuckers, like, alive, bro? Like, how, you, how, like, I don't, I, like, I, it, it's crazy. It's crazy that Steve Irwin is gone, but I still got to fucking deal with the Kardashians on a daily basis. Yeah, I pray to God this this dude's son turns into fucking Steve Jr., bro. Uh, before I end... <laughs>
before I end this, dude. I, I want to see Steve Irwin riding a fucking crocodile. Please, God, just show me that. Just show me that one fucking time, dude. Just for, for all time sake, Steve. Just show me riding a fucking crocodile like a fucking bull. Dude, Steve Irwin is the man, bro. How you gonna fuck with... Dude, dude this guy's just in Australia riding fucking crocodiles, not giving a fuck. That's... Oh, wait. Nigga, what, at what point in time is this man... Oh, shit. Bro, he is wrestling a gator, bro. He legit is out in this shit. Dude! Bro, bro, how you gonna fucking, like, how do you understand that this guy just literally lays on a gator and just fucking sweet talks him? Like, he lays on top and he goes, don't worry, girl. I'm with you. Um, don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. And meanwhile, the whole time he's doing this, he has his wife standing next to him, just going, baby, listen, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking kiss you up and down later. But right now, we need to take care of this fucking gator. Like, do you understand that? Like, like imagine trying to fucking convince your girl to go to a fucking, like, sporting event. This motherfucker convinces his girl to go to fucking muddy waters and wrestle a fucking gator and and, and 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 it's not it's not like she's forced to do it bro you watch the show and she's fucking happy she's like you know what i love steve so much i love the gator so much and i'm just sitting there fucking crying like how the fuck i'm like how and dude god bless that woman bro the fact that she really like at his funeral said i will never marry again and then she never married again because she's like steve is my one true love i'm just sitting there like a fucking fat bitch on prom night crying going like jesus lord jesus this is, this is too beautiful this is too pure god bless steve Irwin, bro i don't know if there's anyone that fucking fills the gap like he was such a good guy uh, that, that's how you know, bro. Like, when people say life isn't fair, that's, that's fucking case in point number one, man. Like, that's such bullshit. But God bless Steve Irwin. He, he's a motherfucking legend, bro. I miss that guy. At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!